Hello friends, today I will discuss about single phase preventer for three phase motor in a substation. So, this type of single phase preventer is used in a substation for three phase supply uh, to the transformer cooling circuit uh, that is the fan circuit and pump circuit. So, in three phase motor is used for transformer cooling circuit uh, that is fan circuit and pump circuit. If any phase out of three phase is uh, out or due to fuse blown or loose connection then other two phase will draw huge current and that is why there will be overheating problem for the three phase motor and there is a failure of the three phase motor. In order to prevent uh, this type of phenomena single phase preventer is used. So here the single phase preventer circuit has been shown uh, for the transformer cooling circuit that is fan and pump circuits auxiliary supply. So here uh, SPP1 is the single phase preventer circuit and 1, 2, 3 uh, is the terminal which is supplied with three phase supply red, yellow and blue phase respectively. And here uh, two terminal is there that is 7 and 8 uh, for auxiliary supply and auxiliary supply is taken from the uh, three phase uh, any of uh, any of the two phase of the three phase supply and here a k 1 a k 1 a is the auxiliary contactor and m t 1 a m t 1 a is the timer and m k 1 a is a power contactor this auxiliary contactor has a auxiliary a no contact that is contact number 13 and 14 and again SPP1 auxiliary contact and that is 16 and 17 and 13 and 14 has been shown in this diagram. And MK1A that is the power contactor auxiliary contact has been shown uh, in series with the three phase supply to the cooling circuit that is fan and pump circuit. So if all the phase are healthy in the single phase preventer then this relay or preventer will be energized. This contact has been shown in unenergized con condition. So as soon as this uh, SPP or single phase preventer is energized, this auxiliary contact will change its position. And now the auxiliary contact uh, as the SPP one, there is a single phase preventer has been energized as the three phase supply is healthy. So this auxiliary contact will change its state that is this NO contact uh, 16 and 17 number and 13 and 14 number NO contact will change its state from NO to NC position. And this is the MCB that is CQ1A is the MCB this MCB shall be in on condition. So this due to this uh, this AK1 AK1A will be energized. This AK1A, the auxiliary contactor coil will be energized via this face to face circuit. Okay. So as, you, as soon as uh, this AK1A coil is energized, it auxiliary contact will change its position. Here, uh, there is a auxiliary NO contact, there is contact number 13 and 14 and this contact come to NC position and due to this, uh, this timer relay will be energized by this phase and neutral circuit. This is the neutral and this is the phase. Okay. So as soon as this timer is energized, uh, after the time delay, uh, its auxiliary contact will change its states. That is auxiliary contact 15 and 16 will change its state and come to NC position. So you can see that uh, this MK1A, that is the power contactor will be energized by this phase and neutral circuit. This phase and neutral circuit, this power contactor coil will be energized and due to this, uh, is auxiliary contact will be changed its position and three phase supply will go through the cooling circuit uh, of the transformer that is the fan and pump circuit and the pump, fan and pump motor will operate or running uh, under uh, good condition.
so now consider that uh, the motor circuit for the fan and pump are running and under this condition one of the phase is out uh, out of the three phase supply now consider that uh, red phase is out okay so d to this the single phase preventer will be de-energized and d to this and the the contact of the single phase preventer will come to no position that is 16 and 17 and 13 and 14 come to no position d to this the auxiliary contactor coil uh, that is a1 a2 will be de-energized and d to this and this auxiliary contact come to no position so therefore the timer relay will be de-energized and d to this this mk1a mk1a this is the power contactor coil will be de-energized so therefore this auxiliary contact of the power contactor that is mk1a will be come to no position so this three phase supply will be cut to the cooling circuit of the fan and pumps of the transformer auxiliary circuit and thereby it will prevent the operation of the three phase motor of the fan and pump circuit so this is how the single phase preventer uh, prevent the uh, operation of the uh, three phase motor if any of the phase is out out of the three phase supply